Hello everyone, this is Brian McEnany, the hydrologist with the National Weather Service in Salt Lake City. This is a water supply briefing for May 2014. And let's take a look at the weather pattern we have today. What we see is this big weather feature here. And this is a high, big high pressure that's going to bring increased temperatures and lots of sunshine. And this weather feature is going to start the melt in earnest and will most likely have high flows all the way through May through early June but most of the state since we have low snowpacks and low forecasts for spring snowmelt runoff this won't last very long and it won't get very high for the most part. Let's take a look at snowpack and what we're looking at is an average over each basin. The y-axis is snow water equivalent, the x-axis is time, the green line is this year, the red line is last year, and the blue line is the average. And what we see is the Bear River drainage, which is the far northernmost drainage, is currently at 118%, with an average of about 11 inches of snow water equivalent remaining. And it's melting just on average, and this is what you would like to see uh, for this area. When we start moving south, the Weaver River drainage, the mountains to the east of Ogden, they're at 112% with an average of about 9.7 inches of snow water equivalent remaining. And then when you get to Six Creeks, things start to, to drop off. They're at 81%, and what we're seeing is um, some pretty low snow numbers, and that's just due to low elevation drainages like Emigration, Red Butte, parts of City Creek. They didn't get the snow because a lot of that weather that came through in early February was warm. It came in the form of rainfall. When you look at Utah Lake, uh, we're at 91% at 4.2 inches of snow water equivalent, and that's melting off at a pretty good clip, quicker than what you would typically see, which indicates not as an efficient runoff. And the Duchesne, 5.9 inches with 90% melting off early. The Severe, more of the same. Really, we're, only, we're almost melted out in the entire drainage for the most part. It's only just a couple of days, and this should be melted out. And then we see the Virgin at really 46 percent but that number is kind of meaningless once you get down into these very low numbers uh, essentially the virgin is is pretty much melted out and had a poor snowpack really all the way if you look at that green line all the way from early december they have had a lack of storm activity this is the driest basin we have in utah this is the modeled snow water equivalent uh, forecast for may today more may 14th and this is what it looks like today and what we're going to do is, is take a look at last year. We're just going to kind of phase it in. So take a look at this. I'll give it a click. This is what last year looked like. Very similar. And so when you look at last year's runoff, we're going to have very similar runoff to what we had last year. Maybe a little bit better, but then I'll go back to this year. And you can see maybe we've got a little bit bigger aerial extent of snowpack, especially up in the Logan and those areas. Let's take a look at temperature now. For April, this is the the daily mean temperature anomaly. And what we saw for Utah was, was very normal temperatures with maybe patches of cooler than normal. Up in Minnesota and North Dakota had cooler than normal while California and Southern Arizona were very warm and that's been the trend all winter long. When we move into May, it was cooler than normal across most of the West. Now with precipitation levels, when we look at April, Utah had pockets of above normal precipitation but for the majority of the state especially in the south they were down you know maybe 70 to 90 in central Utah with um, 50 to 70 percent or even less down in southern Utah and there were pockets throughout the rest of the country that had some pretty big precip when we look at May though we had a four-day storm event last Thursday through the past Sunday of last week and you can see we were up in the three to four hundred percent range of precipitation Cedar City had issues with the storm that they had but continued dry conditions across California Arizona New Mexico so when we look at water supply here's what it looks like aerially and the cooler colors indicate above normal precip warm colors indicate below normal I'm sorry not precip but water supply and this is the amount of water we anticipate to come out of the mountains from April 1st through the end of July, the volume. And when you look at the upper green, that's doing quite well. The Yampa, which is over in Colorado, that's doing quite well, those kind of aqua blue colors. The lower green, uh, as a result of all the upstream flow, 
coming into Lake Powell should do quite well. But when you look at the Virgin, the severe parts of Utah County, and even really um, the Six Creeks area in Salt Lake County, they're not doing very well. Um, Bear Lake in the yellow did quite well. The Duchesne in that brown color is doing quite well. But when you look over in the San Juan, again, not very good. So what we'll do is we'll look at it in a different format in the bar chart. And this is the forecasts that are made by the Colorado Basin River Forecast Center starting in January and then each uh, monthly forecast and then May is the last one in purple and the Bear River anticipates 90 percent of what they typically see coming out of the mountains actually not a bad forecast the Weaver less at 65 Six Creeks at 40 percent Utah Lake at 45 percent and this is a direct result of when the storms did hit it was very warm they originated from Hawaii and below 8,000 feet these storms came in the form of rain that went away. We don't have it as snow right now. So these numbers reflect that, especially Six Creeks at 40%, Utah Lake at 45 When we move over to the green, what we see is much healthier numbers in the upper green, the Yampa and the white. And that was due to when that high pressure ridge was parked over us in December, January. They were still getting weather. They were still getting storms. Duchesne in the lower green, not so much at 75% respectively. The severe, continually declining numbers, now they're at 30% expected from that period, April through July. And then the upper Colorado, which is a very healthy basin, upper Colorado main stem, the Gunnison and the Dolores. These are numbers that flow into Lake Powell, and Lake Powell's forecast is a little bit above average, which is, which is wonderful for that area. Now down into the Virgin, this is our driest basin in the state at 20% expected out of the mountains this year. Very, very dry. So there you have it. This is Brian McInerney. Give me a call. Drop me a line if I can do anything for you water-wise, and we will go from there. I do appreciate taking the time to listen to this. Thank you.